Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for mid-July right through to mid-August. Just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, let's get straight to your reading. For those of you who are interested, I'm using the White Witch Tarot to gauge the general overview energy of uh, the time I have set. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know with regards to their career? Can you please guide them from mid-July through to mid-August? What do they need to know for their higher good? Thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the card as I believe that is my energy and not the message you're meant to receive. Everyone is different. So um, please fast forward during these moments. I don't like to waste anyone's time. Okay, so in the protagonist uh, position, this is the energy that is propelling you forward for the time I have set. And this is the strength card, okay? So this is Leo energy. And this is about unconditional self-love, self-respect, and the courage to move forward with whatever it is that you uh, want to do with your career. There is a lot of drive here, a lot of passion that is propelling you forward. You're not just seeing with your eyes here, you're seeing with your heart. You're following your heart to attain your highest dreams there. Um, also, um, any confusion that there was with regards to your life purpose or your wake up call, I feel like you're releasing that and you're surrendering your energy, not just um, to uh, co-creating with spirit, but you're surrendering to the universe and allowing the universe to co-create with you and uh, direct you, as it were, um, on the path that you're on already. So uh, you get a feeling of there is something faded that um, is happening in your career. Um, you're very energized at this time, Pisces, and um, you're very connected to the universe. As you can see, those fingertips are all lit up there. They're showing, they're highlighting that for me because what you truly desire is just at your fingertips and you recognize that you have the power. Everything you need is within you. You create your reality. So um, I definitely see you turning your visions into reality by using inspired actions. Whatever it is that you want to do, you're propelling yourself forward and knowing that you have control over your destiny, but also there is an element of faded energy that is guiding you and helping you, propelling you forward towards your dreams, okay? So this is definitely um, you following your heart here. They're, they're showing me, highlighting that heart. So whatever it is you truly desire, your passion, where you've been trying to achieve for quite some time, um, you are propelling yourself forward with strength and courage there. Um, they're also highlighting the eyes for me and um, they're showing me the, the like sunbeams that are um, coming out of the eyes in this card. Now I get a different energy every time I read a card but they're really highlighting the sun's rays. So there is a joyous outcome. You can see success in sight. You know that you will gain your happiness and that it will be a joyous outcome there because it's almost like it's, it's an energy of uh, eyes on the prize really. You know what you want and what you desire and you know that you deserve it. When you have that strength card, it is about knowing your worth, you know, having high standards and not taking anything less than you deserve here. Now, we do have, um, interestingly enough, in the antagonist position, this is the energy that sometimes holds you back there, my beautiful Pisces. They're giving me two energies here. Um, they're giving me two uh, avenues to explore. One is the, um, the lover's card, Gemini energy. It used to be called the choice. So Pisces, they're showing me that sometimes when there is a choice on the board here, you uh, stagnate or you take some time out like hangman in energy in order to weigh up different options, get different perspectives, um, you know, get a lot of wisdom about each situation. And sometimes uh, it feels like you wait a little bit too long to make a decision because when you have a choice there, um, you don't know which route is the best one to take. And sometimes that makes you nervous. 
and leads to inaction. So you're all up in your head. Um, you try and emotionally gauge which is the right path for you in your career, but sometimes you get a little bit sort of nervous that you have to make a decision. So when there is a choice on the board, there is this energy that holds you back a little bit is what they're giving me here. Um, so there is that um, two steps forward, four steps back in terms of deciding what is right for you with this choice. Now also the other energy, the other avenue they want me to explore is that Pisces, when you uh, are full blaze in your career, your love life sometimes takes a little bit of a back seat. But when your love life is in full swing, sometimes your career takes a little bit of a back seat. Uh, so there is that swinging energy back and forth. Uh, it is, it's almost like a juggling energy here. Um, you're wonderfully sensitive and you lead with your emotions. You're very, um, you know, very refreshing, very sensitive um, soul there. And you give your all to each situation which often leads you, um, if you're giving your all to one situation, for example, love, um, and your romantic partner or your family, friends, all of that, then you feel like you cannot give a certain percentage to your career as well, because you give everything that you have to give. You're very good at multitasking. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is you give your soul to a project, okay? So when you do that, it's like, Every hour, every moment, every day, your thought process is on that project and what you truly desire, what you want to achieve. So therefore, something takes a back seat just for a little while. So there is again that inaction, okay? Now, um, they're also asking me to look at this card more closely. Um, so I'm just gonna take a moment out. One moment, please, thank you. Okay, so they're actually highlighting these three faces to me. Um, what they're giving me here is there is an option, uh, there are actually three options is what they're giving me, of a decision that you have to make. Um, now, one of them is definitely speaking to your soul, but the other two areas, the other two career options are, they're giving me the word faucets, faucets of your yourself as well. But there is one main career option that really speaks to your heart, okay? It is central to your being, something that you have tried to um, action for quite some time, and it, it's making you a little bit nervous because you may need to partner up with somebody in order to make this dream come true. And um, there is an element of you're not sure if you can trust, okay? So there is a, a kind of a suspended energy here with making a decision. Um, but there are definitely two avenues, they're giving me the word faucet again, two faucets, um, but what it means is um, there's two career avenues that, you know, you could take, they'd be equally interesting, but there's one that is central to your being, that is your life purpose, and uh, really speaks to your heart, it makes you nervous, it's in the antagonist position, because you have to get over this energy of fear, Okay, you have to follow your heart and speak your truth because we have the, the hands over um, the, the throat chakra as well. But there is a possibility that the, the dream you want to go for, you have to partner up with somebody because this is a partnership card and that makes you nervous. Okay, now that could be a partnership with somebody as in a friend, a, a lover, you know, romantic partner. It could be uh, making a partnership with an establishment, for example, uh, a financial institution, a bank, you know, or um, some sort of college if you're doing teaching or something that you no longer um, go completely solo on this. Okay, I'm sorry, I just had to itch my leg there. <laughs> um, and in the unifying position, this is the energy that is going to bring everything together. Okay, interesting, it's a Libra energy, which is about balance harmony. So it is a unifying energy in itself. Now this is about uh, some sort of truth will come out, some sort of reveal, perhaps a secret um, about one or two of the options will come out, allowing you to really go for what it is you truly desire here. At the same time, um, this is about karma, okay? So um, what we have here, Pisces, is that because you're a beautiful soul and you've done such wonderful things and uh, being so pure of heart and mind, especially when it comes to career, you're about to be given a gift, okay? So the universe is rewarding you um, because of your karma. What comes around, what goes around comes around is what uh, they're giving me with this. Now, also, um, they're asking me to look at this a little bit more clearly, so I, I will do, yeah. 
there's been some upset um, in your either present job or a uh, past job, which has made you feel a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, okay? Um, so this shows me that there is something with the career that you really want to follow that makes you a little bit nervous. There is anxiety there. When we have swords present, that is about intellect or communication or about some sort of anxiety okay now there's two swords there so um they're showing me that there is a possibility of a compromise and um one of the compromises makes you feel so nervous it reminds you of uh, perhaps a job in the past or uh, in some way a, a toxic job that you have maybe in the present um somewhere where uh, there was a lot of pain a lot of discomfort um and it, it reminds you of that now the universe is saying um just because it reminds you of that doesn't mean um, that uh, it will uh, uh, repeat the cycle. What they're giving me is um, there are solutions um, to what happened in the past and equally it is a win-win situation for you, okay? Um, follow your heart and your heart will not lead you astray. Um, but there is anxiety. Again, they're showing me a choice. Okay, so there is a, you feel like you have to make a decision, there's some sort of compromise, but it leads to a lot of abundance, okay, um, which is very, uh, sorry, the candle flickle, flickered there, so it just drew my attention, um, but yeah, it leads to a lot of abundance, they keep uh, giving me karma, this is like, it's almost like it's faded, okay, there's a faded energy here with regards to um, your, your choice, but there is definitely, they're giving me, there's three options, but there's definitely, a, uh, you've narrowed it down to two. One really speaks to your soul, uh, the center of your being, um, and the other, it reminds you of a, a past situation. Um, it, it's got you a little bit anxious about having to make this decision, but they want you to know it's a unifying energy. It's a win-win situation for you. What you do now, what choice you make, um, will ricochet throughout the rest of your, your time uh, in your career, but it is an abundant um, path that lies ahead. Now we're going to go deeper and find out what energies um, lie ahead for you, my beautiful Pisces. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know with regards to mid July? Thank you so much. In action, okay? So we have the chariot, it's in reverse. So where you are perhaps at this present moment in time, uh, you feel a little bit stuck. Okay, so they're giving me a little bit more of a story here of what's going on. It is a, a job that perhaps you're in at this present time and you feel a little bit stuck or perhaps you you do not have a job at this moment in time and you, you're feeling stuck there. You're feeling that um, there is an inaction. Uh, you may feel like you, um, I don't feel like you lack direction per se, but I feel like issues uh, perhaps um, beyond your control have led you to stay stagnant in some situation. And that could be, uh, and that could be stagnant in the present job. Uh, ultimately, it is over the strength card, which is uh, about you know self love, self respect, knowing your worth and your boundaries, and standing up for yourself. So you may be in a place where you feel like there is no way up. You feel like there is no promotion there for you. There is no way to level up to the next um, level, as it were, or to you know move forward in any way in this job or career and you're just wondering is this really for me because I feel a little bit stuck um, so you're starting to weigh up your direction okay and if you're on the right path um, we're, what they're giving me is there is a choice here you can stay where you are but you need to know your worth okay you need to have high standards so if there is some sort of toxic situation that's going on at work at this present time you need to really check in with your instincts and see if this is what you want long term or if you see that there will be growth and there will be change at the moment the present energies they're giving me there is a an energy of feeling like you're in the same place um you may want to um you may want to leave this situation but there is an inaction here and you feel like a little bit fed up like you know you want to give up on this situation um, because it's not it doesn't serve your higher purpose is what they're giving me here thank you so much spirit guys guide angels can you please guide my beautiful pisces what do they need to know with regards to their present situation their career thank you so much mm, ace of wands okay so interestingly you're feeling stuck where you are and we have the choice, okay? With that lover's card, it, as, as I said, if you look up the history of this card, it used to be called the choice. So there is a choice here and there is a new project. 
uh, ace of wands there is about some sort of new project or new desire to create and shake things up you know something that you really want to achieve that really speaks to your higher self as I said, the, the one that is central to your being, that you're really passionate about, that would make you want to jump out of bed in the morning and, and achieve. Um, it's an interesting kind of lifestyle. Wands always speak of passion. And this is some sort of new idea or new project or new avenue that has opened up to you and it's got you all up in your head with anxiety. This choice that you have to make. Now, as you can see, um, it's in the center there, okay? It's almost like... It's not only the center of your being, it is your life purpose. It is spirit connecting to you, saying, you know, this is what you've always wanted to be. This is what you've always wanted to do. You need to take a leap of faith here. And because it's in the antagonist position, you're a little bit nervous. This is the energy, you know, you're weighing things up, but there is a suspended energy here where you're like, I'm not sure. Um, but your gut instinct and your intuition, okay, uh, they're giving me the words penal glands. Okay, penal gland. Um, so th there is a real choice here. You need to check in with your guides and your higher self. You really need to know where it is that you want to go with your life. Okay, um, there is prosperity path is very important. They're asking me to look at this, um, this card a little bit more closely. So I'm just going to take a moment. Thank you so much. Okay, um, I, I will say it because that's what they've given me. They, they've, they've highlighted these uh, marks here on this card and they're showing me like a net. Okay, now uh, I don't think they're trying to give me a name like a net. I don't think they're trying to give me a name. I think they're showing me the image because maybe somebody out there does something with nets. Uh, they look like spider web nets. There could be... They could be rope. Um, I can't be sure of the um, the material. Um, like I don't know. The, there, there's something involving nets. Okay. Now this, I can only describe it as it's either an assault course net or a fishing net or you know something that also looks a bit spider webby net. Okay. Um, so uh, they're not actually showing me a spider on the the, the web or in the netting so um, it's nothing to do with spiders per se they're just giving me this material now this may be material that you have drapesing in your room it could uh, it could be something that you work with it could be a passion project that you have where you make stuff uh, that looks like this if that's you then there's something in this message for you but also they're showing me here a tear okay that is running down this person's face and this project this passion that you have for this career you put everything into it and you're there is a, an anxiety that goes with this choice that if you don't choose it you will be unhappy forever but if you do choose it and it doesn't go the way you hoped it would you will be unhappy forever there is this um energy of being unsure okay um so this is the energy that is pulling you back stopping you from propelling yourself forward but what they did say is check out the beauty spot okay now it does look like a mole on this figure's um, face here. It is very unique in that, you know, uh, she could have a mole elsewhere, uh, but she doesn't. But they just said, the, check out the beauty spot. Check out the beauty spot. So actually, they're showing me that this will be a very beautiful idea. It's very unique, um, and it is divinely placed, okay? So divine timing is paramount here. Uh, they're also giving me an image of a bee, a bumblebee. Um, it's like a, yeah, bumblebee, worker bee, um, it's, it's very important. There's, uh, the bee, you know, it's very important to our world. Bees are very important. They're very hardworking. Um, you know, they adjust to their surroundings. Um, their surroundings are very important, but also what they do for uh, their career is also very important to the environment, to, um, their surroundings. So whatever it is that you do is very, very important. And it, it has been burning away at you for quite some time, but there is this putting on the brakes. That's what they're giving me. I'm sorry, I spent quite a lot of time. They won't let me leave a card unless I uh, move, you know, they won't let me um, move on from a card. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So what we have here is, uh, okay. 
Sorry, I just want to see how they want to receive. They want to receive like this. Okay, so Ace of Cups is next in the following, then Queen, then the Tower in reverse. So Ace of Cups is, um, this is divinely guided. This is a gift from the universe. This is about loving what you do. And you need to hold that feeling in your heart that all is well and it will be so. Your heart and soul need to know that all will be well and that um, following your bliss, what it is you truly desire to do with passion and achieve with love um, will actually be very successful. It's a gift from the universe. Again, they're saying beauty spot, okay? Um, so perhaps you do something with beauty as well. Um, I don't know, beauty spot is important in some way. Um, but this is, um, you know, what speaks to your soul, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve with love. Um, it is divinely guided from the universe. Uh, the hand of the universe is giving it to you in the right moment, um, but it is acknowledging that you're shying away from it for a reason. Now, justice, they're saying this is karma, okay? So finally, you're getting your good karma. Um, you, it, it is a... It is a win-win solution here, okay? Uh, not only will it bring a lot of um, financial stability, but it will also bring a lot of emotional contentment. The hands of the universe they're giving me are, are giving you this wonderful opportunity. Uh, the stars are aligning in the background here, okay? So it's very faded. So again, we have a faded energy um, of this passion project that you feel you've stalled in the past or felt you couldn't action. Um, they're asking, they're, okay. Um, so there is this like wispy kind of like smoke there in the card. Um, they are giving me here, they're, they're, it's almost like they're tracing it, um, as an outline of a feather, a white feather. So if you've been seeing white feathers around, um, that is an indicator from spirit, um, or those around you to follow your bliss and, you know, action, whatever your passion is to achieve, um, your prosperity path. So white feathers, even with a tinge of blue, or that blue or lilac, uh, you may have come across something like that on your path. And uh, even, yeah, that is a signifier. They're giving it as a signifier, okay? Uh, they're also saying there was, now this is very precise, it's for somebody out there. Uh, I mean, we don't often get two indicators on the same day um, from spirit, but this is a very special, special outcome. Uh, this is for somebody in particular. It's a very unique message. Um, so on the day that someone found a, f a feather that uh, mirrors the one that I just said, there was also a rainbow. They coincided on the same day. Okay, so if that's you, there is something in this message for you. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So as we can see, the energy that is uh, propelling you forward is the strength card, okay? Having the courage. But this shows me that there is, there has been no courage in, in the past or a, a, an inaction. You felt like you couldn't, you didn't have maybe the finances to follow through on this project or that, you know, um, you didn't have solid grounding at that present time in order to fulfill your, your passion project and run forward with it. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, when she's in reverse, um, she's not listening to her higher power. Uh, she's blocked, okay? Now, this could be that you're financially dependent on somebody else uh, for something. Um, but also, yeah, they're also giving me like a another um, avenue, which is it... it it's to do with this justice card where somebody in the past or maybe at your present job, there is a toxic person who kind of holds you back, um, is envious of you in some way. It's a very grounded, you know, person. They may have an earth element somewhere, but they're very envious and they have tried to hold you back. OK, because we have it with the the, um, the chariot in reverse. There is a stagnancy, okay? So this person um, is in some way trying to stop your progress. Now, this could be someone, um, it could be someone in your family. It could be someone at work. This is a career um, reading. They're giving me, at the moment, I'm seeing that this is more someone that you work with, okay? But it's about knowing your worth, proceeding no matter what. So if someone has told you that you, you cannot do whatever it is that you truly desire doing, and it's made you nervous or held you back don't listen to them know your worth there and karma is on your side uh, justice will prevail and as long as you've got balance and lead with that courage um, it is a win-win situation 
Now we have the tower card, it's in reverse. And when we have that, it means there is a fear of change here. So going after your dreams or your desires, there is a little bit of anxiety here again that I'm picking up where um, you feel like, you know what? It could go really wrong if I go for this. And if it goes wrong, then I'd rather have the tears of not trying than the tears of knowing that it didn't go well. Okay, now spirit is giving me this, uh, it's in the antagonist position. So this is the energy to overcome. Overcome those fears. Yes, we're all human and we all have that sort of anxiety, but they're showing me that this is divinely guided and it will be very successful. So any nerves, put them to the side. You know, um, it is better to try than to sit in the same stagnant energy and have any regrets in the future that you did not action your passion um, because it will be very successful. Um, it's just you have to believe to receive. Okay, thank you so much, spirit guys, going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know regarding their career? Oh, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. So yeah, someone is um, very immature where you are or in a past position of work. Um, very immature here. Um, okay, they're giving me a, a two, um, two avenues again. One is that this person, um, you know, they, they, it's like they micromanaged you. Everything you did, they spied on you. They made, you know, you had to report to them all the time. They were like really hardball on you. And you're like, I cannot do this. This is crushing me. You're very emotive element Pisces you're very sensitive you're very creative you know anybody who's micromanaging you or um, you know spying on you looking over your shoulder at work it's crushing your flow it makes you on edge who needs to work on eggshells so if you're still in that egg uh, that that energy it's showing me that you feel very stuck there also the other avenue they're giving me here is because we have justice on the board here whatever it is that you love doing you really want action there is some anxiety, of course there's anxiety, but there may be some sort of um, legal issue or tax issue that is um, connected to it in some way. Now this may be you're waiting for an outcome because justice, you know, uh, justice, the law courts or something are weighing up an auction and you're about to, you're waiting for some sort of result there. Or this is something that you will have to overcome, like for example, I don't know, um, encounter large taxes for doing something I, I mean or there's some sort of legalities that it makes it nerve-wracking to start there's something here that is just got you all up in your head a little bit when we've got swords on the board here um it is about you know the intellect the mind and um they're coming back to um this person who has in some way um stifled your growth or stopped you from being able to action your true passion. Um, it's showing me the, the um, light bulbs, the, the, if I put it in the upright position, they're showing me the, the light bulbs there, okay? It, it's about crushing dreams, ideas, okay? This person is bad energy, um, and it's kind of like, in some way, stopping you fulfilling um, what you love about your job. So if it's where you are at this present time, um, this person is stopping you from enjoying your job, but justice on the board, justice will prevail in the situation. It's about to be leveled out by karma. So uh, you could see yourself, um, you know, moving to a, another um, department, but in the same job or leveling up in some way, or this new opportunity, this new passionate idea that you want to run with. The devil, look at that. Okay, so this is Capricorn energy. Um, that doesn't mean uh, the, the, a Capricorn is a devil. It means they may have a placement somewhere. It's about addiction. It's about um, obsession, okay? So there is there is some sort of connection. This this person, um, they may like, like to play games with you, okay? Um, I don't like this person's energy at all, um, but there is a choice to get away from this person in some way um, because this... This person has some sort of control over the situation. So it could be someone who is your boss or a team leader. Um, it could be, they're definitely very immature and they're trying to stop your progress is what they're giving me here. Um, as you can see, this particular devil um, card has uh, someone 
um, with strings. So it's like a puppet on a string. They're controlling the situation and manipulating the situation for their own benefit. They may even take work that you've done and pass it off as their own. Um, so this is not a very nice character, but justice will prevail. I really feel you do not need to do anything in the situation, Pisces. Um, it's more about highlighting, okay? So what, what I, I always say about uh, the devil card is about you cannot get rid of the devil, okay, um, in the situation. Uh, the devil card is always going to turn up. It's always in the pack. It's, it's, a, it's present in life, that energy, uh, you know, that obsessive energy, you know, um, sort of addictive energy, toxic energy. It's present in everyday life. I'm not talking about the devil himself. I'm talking about the energy um, of um, toxicity. Now, this um, energy, the best way to deal with it is you cannot eradicate it, but you can shine a light on it. Okay, so there may be an opportunity, as you can see, there's lots of lights there. There may be an opportunity for you to speak your truth and highlight what's going on in order to overcome this situation. But ultimately, you have a very um, big choice to make here, Pisces. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Mid-July, thank you so much. The world in reverse. Okay, so there is some sort of unfinished business here. Okay, there's lessons to be learned in this situation. Now, what they are giving me is there is only one sword on the board. Okay, that's the page of swords and it's in reverse and it is to do with the other person. So my guess at the moment, we're going to go deeper and find out if there's unfinished business in this, con this current situation or, you know, um, your current energy, it is to speak up for yourself. Okay, because I don't see any swords on the board and um, there is... Um, when we have the lovers there and the strength, they're highlighting the heart, but also the throat chakra. So there is communication that is needed to be had here. Okay, so you may have to um, make a decision, compromise in some way, but ultimately you gotta use those, those communication skills. Okay, so that must be um, the lessons that need to be learned. But also they're giving me here another dual energy with this, which is um, the delay. Okay, so there is a delay in actioning what it is that is your true passion here. And this is because um, you're either being held back by another person or there are finance, a financial issue there. You have limited resources to fully action what it is you truly desire. This is a temporary energy when we have it in the reverse, the world. But um, the completion of the cycle will happen when you've learnt those lessons or when you've learnt to speak up for yourself. Um, now, Pisces, I don't ever see you shying away from anything, but sometimes uh, there is this energy that I'm getting, which is, you know what? Let bygones be bygones. If they want to do bad, you know what? I just ignore it and get on and do my bit, okay? So there is this kind of going with the flow energy with you uh, in this reading. So that's what I'm getting. Um, there is something that is needed to be learned um, in order to break free from this kind of uh, person who has control over the situation. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angel. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Um, how would you want to receive? Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, we have the sun in reverse here. Okay, the sun in reverse again tells of a delay. Um, in gratification. So it is a temporary um, energy of waiting um, in order to action what you truly desire. Um, it, again, it's pointing to fate. The sun card is on the board for a reason, which means it's obtainable. So um, we're going to go deeper, as I said, to find out an outcome. They're just giving me the underlying story at the moment uh, of who I'm connecting to. And this is about um, your abundance, okay? That, that, Kind of gratification that you're truly hoping for uh, both on the emotional plane but also financial plane um, there is a waiting energy okay waiting 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 and uh, some of it is to do with um, not having the resources to proceed forward as you can see uh, we got the chariot in reverse which is again a suspended energy waiting and then we end on the sun on this particular spread um, it is a waiting energy um, <laughs> and again, we have the Eight of Wands. You just couldn't write this. That's three cards that say delay, delay, delay. Okay, so the Eight of Wands there is a frustration about this delay. Um, it could be travel problems, but what I'm getting here, because it's uh, 
it's like you cannot go in the direction of your dreams right now at this per, uh, this right moment in time because there is a decision to be made okay someone is withholding um, or there is lack of finances in order to pursue your your dreams a hundred percent there is a um, it could be um, you know you cannot expand your business or move forward because of what's going on around the world with this COVID-19 you know there is a delay here and it is frustration you can see how frustrated that is um, because uh, it's one, two, three uh, delay cards, um, but that's all about to change. We have the Ten of Wands, it's in reverse. This is about, you know, what can you do? When you've got the Ten of um, Wands in reverse, this is about taking a break, but it's also the message of what needs to change, the lesson that needs to be learned, and then you free yourself. And that's the freedom of saying no, lightening your load. No, I'm not doing the extra work. Um, because you can't be bothered. No, I'm not taking on any more burdens and any more stress from the situation. I'm freeing myself up from this and I'm learning to say no. That is a very powerful word, Pisces, no. Sometimes we forget the power that it has. We want to, uh, we don't want to hurt anybody. We love people, okay? Um, we, um, you know, you're very pure of heart. You, you don't like disappointing people, so you take a lot on. If a friend asks you for help, you're like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. If uh, someone at work says, oh, I, I haven't been able to do this project, could you do this? You go, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll help out. All of a sudden, you're helping out 10 people, and you're like, I've got no time for myself. So the lesson here is saying no. Only doing you. It is not a selfish act to look after yourself first. Very important. It allows you to free yourself up and action the project, this passion project that you've always wanted to do or follow a path of what you've always wanted to do. The wands talk about passion. So you're freeing yourself up to follow your passion. If you're, you know, for example, if a family member is against what you've wanted to do forever and you've gone down a safe route in order to pay the bills, etc., etc., now is a time where I get, there is a change, there is a shift. You're making that decision. You're compromising on some things, but you're making a final decision to say, no, I'm doing me. I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. That's the unifying energy that pulls you um, forward, but it's asking you to get over um, not actioning uh, what you truly desire. Queen of Swords, how do you want to receive? Thank you. Um, yeah, so we've got Queen of Swords in the upright. This is owning it. This is the lesson, finally speaking your truth. The Queen of Swords is, um, although you're a water element Pisces, this is an air element and it's a Libra card. So again, it speaks to the unifying energy, which is justice, okay? So it's about balance, it's about harmony. It's about being self-sufficient, leading in total honesty, speaking your truth, and having, you know, having your own direction. They just said paddle your own canoe. <laughs> paddle your own canoe, yeah, oh yeah, she's on a raft, okay? So this is about going in the direction that you want to go in. Now, you may be alone on that uh, raft because you may not have the support of somebody um, or somebody at work may be trying to, or in your present situation, trying to hold you back, but nothing's holding you back. You're on this adventure and you're speaking your truth. As you can see, she's got adventure on her mind. She's got her goal in sight. Eye on the prize. They're giving me the eye on the prize. Okay, so um, you come in peace. You're, you're, you're peacefully headed towards your dreams, um, but there is no way anybody's going to stop you. You have that sort of BS ready to uh, get people out of your way. You're a peaceful uh, sign there, Pisces, but um, lo and behold, if anybody steps in your path now, you know the direction you're going in and you're not taking it. I feel there is like an energy of, now this is not a gender specific reading, male or female, it's about the energy. There's a real feeling of warrior with this energy, warrior spirit. So male or female, you're embodying that warrior going off and actioning, finally actioning your dreams there, okay? And you're being divinely guided. They want me to highlight um, that bird. Now they're giving me uh, that bird as a crow, okay? So it's like, uh, the sentences uh, that, that I've got here is as fast as the crow flies, okay? As fast as the crow flies. So what they're giving me is as soon as any delay shifts, 
you're, you're, you're actioning it, you're off. Um, so I fully expect to see a very big change in the energy in the cards. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. Uh, when we do the um, clarification read with the Fountain Tarot, can you please um, give me any final messages for this spread with regards to my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know with regards to... Uh, oh, thank you so much. Eight of Pentacles. Look at that. Self-worth, baby. This is about mastering yourself, knowing your worth and enjoying your employment. Okay? So when you get that Eight of Pentacles, it's about loving what you do. There is no point in sitting in a place that makes you feel like you're on eggshells, being micromanaged, and that you have to answer to someone all the time. It's crushing your creativity, okay, is what they're giving me here. It's a very smothering energy. Um, so this is about you making those decisions, okay? When you have that Eight of Pentacles, um, this is about thinking of the, your financial future and investing in it now, and it pays off in that future, okay? You, in, incidentally, yeah, look at that. Um, she's holding a candle, so this is about illumination, as I said, illuminating um, where people have holds over you with that devil energy, you know, those toxic cycles where people think that they can boss you about, or, you know, they're envious or uh, obsessively watching you work and all of those things, or think they have some sort of control over your career in some way. Um, this is about shining that light. I hope you can see that. She's got a candle, and she's looking at all these options here, okay? There's loads of options, um, but you know, there's, there's options there that lead to real growth, and um, there are options that are very unique, uh, very peaceful. As you can see, there's a white feather over here. Now, I, they just indicated this to me, so I just have to take a look. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. So, um, the white feather appears by these books here. So, you could be um, learning. You could be learning, being very studious at this time, learning and curious about a new path that speaks to your passions. So you may be just biding your time in this present energy uh, or this present job or this present situation in order to wait for the right time to level up. But you're learning. There's a lot of, of uh, opening your mind here to facts and figures that help you elevate in your true passion. Okay, interestingly, we end uh, that because uh, they, they said go on to the next deck now. Um, we end there with uh, you mastering your craft, mastering whatever it is that you want to do in order to go up the scale, level up, and leave anything toxic behind. Um, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, just going to clarify the reading for you. with uh, This is the Fountain Tarot I'm using by Jonathan Sewers. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Thank you. And we have a shift. Okay, Knight of Wands. Now, this Knight of Wands energy is um, very creative, okay? Very free-spirited. It, it completely shifts. Once you know your worth, once you stand up for what you desire and what you deserve, they just say, it in, more importantly, what you deserve, then you get what you, what you deserve, okay? Again, it's about justice, karma will prevail. And um, when we get this Knight of um Knight of Wands. This is about having creative pursuits that keep you interested, okay? So this isn't something that you would do um, the same thing every day. It may be the same job, but it feels different. Um, it keeps your interest. Now, this particular knight gets bored easily, it needs to be stimulated, but needs to follow their passions, okay? So it is a desire to follow the passion and achieve as you go along. So I feel like there is like a leveling up each time in this new passion that you're, you're striving towards that will keep you very interested, okay? Um, there is a lot of growth and movement um, within this new um, thing that you're trying to action and achieve here that seats, uh, speaks to your soul. Uh, it sets your soul on fire. So there is this wonderful new opportunity uh, that speaks to your passions. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Ooh, we got two cards there. Um, two of Wands. Look at that. So again, they're clarifying, they're highlighting with the lover's energy. Okay, this is about waiting for results. So I definitely feel now they're telling me you're waiting for some sort of results here. It could be uh, to do with legalities, uh, some sort of contract, before you can move forward with what it is you truly desire. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have, uh, it's like a little 
sphere there that emulates the world. So there is no expansion, there is no movement until you make uh, your decision and you cannot because you're waiting for some sort of results here before you can follow through with the action. Now, as I said, it could be legalities, paperwork, um, you know, this learning, the, it could even be the judicial system itself. There is something here that is being weighed up and you're wait, waiting for results here. Um, five of cups, it's in the upright position. Okay, so this is about feeling really unloved and abandoned where you are. So it does not, um, it, where you are in your work in, or where you've just been, because this is also about mourning, a, you know, a, a grief um, from the past of what you did um, for, in terms of career. Uh, that's what they're giving me here. Um, it is about, um, you know, feeling kind of awful where you are right now and that you feel like there isn't a hope there is a waiting and a waiting and a waiting and because this delay is happening you're like I'm fed up I'm fed up of waiting I'm fed up of people telling me to have patience it's a horrible word but unfortunately it is one that um, we have to do as humans but what they're giving me here is don't be thinking about the negative. As you can see, this figure is looking at all those cups that have fallen over and are empty. There's two there behind um, that this figure is not noticing. They're full. So there are this, again, two options that really speak to your soul. Um, but one in particular is your prosperity path. And you may not you may not be seeing it right now because you're too busy thinking about where you're unhappy right now in the present, okay? So that is uh, feeling, you know, unloved where you are in your work at this present time. There are wonderful opportunities if you just open your eyes to see them. Now, they've just asked me to have a look on this. Hmm. Um, well, they asked me to have a look at the bottom here. Um, and as I did, they gave me an image of someone doing an eye test. So there is something, uh, you know, like you go into a doctor's surgery or, and uh, they've got those um, letters on the board, the eye test. Um, they're just showing me someone doing one of those. Okay, so uh, that's very interesting uh, image to get. So if that's you, then there's something in this message for you. Okay, um, they're just showing me that board. Um, they're not showing me a person doing the eye test. They're just showing me a picture of the eye test itself. Um, all the letters that go from large to medium to small to like so ditty that you can't even see them. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Okay, and they said we end there. Thank you. Okay, Ten of Coins. It's in reverse. So this is um, what I'm getting here. It's There are some issues here with like fa perhaps family conflicts in, in, in terms of business, okay? So this could be a family member who was not happy with your choices. Um, there, When we get the Ten in the reverse like this, this is um, you feel a bit lonely where you are, like you don't have support in your dreams. So there could be a, a, a family member in particular that you were hoping would have your back who has expressed um, dismay or displeasure at your choice because they want you to do something a bit more solid. As you can see in the upright, it's about solid choices. Um, and they, they, it's just their fear is what they're giving me here. This is nothing to do with you. Um, so it is about expectation, okay? And you know, you need to do you, of course, but you need to listen to your instincts there with that 10 of coins. Uh, yeah, I knew that, I knew it was gonna come up, hangman energy. So this is the decision. You're in a suspended uh, mode here, but you've put yourself in the suspended um, kind of energy because you need a different perspective. You know where you are, you know where you've been, and you know what your talent and where your talent lies um, and you know what you truly want to do with your life, okay? It's in the suspended energy right in the center. So as I said, that two um, <clears throat> steps forward, four steps back energy. There's a lot of wisdom that comes from this situation. So you will know which way to go. Um, I, I'm getting, they're giving me the 15th of July. Yeah, 1-5 July. I've gone really hot now. So that's, uh, they're giving me an indication of um, you make a choice by then, okay? Or there is some sort of shift that makes you make a choice. Now, this could be a choice of partnering up with somebody to action your dream because um, you didn't have all the resources by yourself. There were limited resources. Or you make a final decision to um, action it against um, somebody who is trying to hold you back 
in some way against their wishes. You're going your own way. There is a lot of wisdom that comes from this. Ooh, okay, so Queen of Cups here. Um, so yeah, this is, this person is leading in insecurity, but also you're absorbing that as well, Pisces. This is um, Cancerian energy, but it's in reverse. So it's kind of making you feel, because it's, because there is indecision here, you're feeling insecure. And you're feeling that if you don't make a decision quickly, the opportunity may pass. I don't feel like that's the case, but that is the energy I'm picking up here from you. Um, look, we got the Nine of Cups, okay? It's in the upright position, and that is about your dreams coming true. Okay, wishes coming true, a lot of abundance, good health, happiness, whatever it is you truly desire is yours for the taking, but you must decide that you can't sit on the fence here uh, with regards to this situation. So there's a lot of choices that are appearing to you, um, definitely from the 15th of July, something um, gets highlighted here. Ultimately, look at that. Okay, you're co-creating with spirit. This is about turning those wonderful dreams into reality. Coupled with the, the wish card, your wish fulfillment card, that's a very powerful um, combination right there, okay? You're turning those visions into reality by using inspired action. So where you're probably watching this uh, video at this present moment in time, um, when I release it, um, you're feeling a little bit stuck. By, but definitely from the 15th of July, there is action or something gets revealed here where it enables you to almost like, you know, move forward, but have direction, okay? It's not something you're like, oh, I can make a baby step now. It's more like you're making a leap and a stride. Uh, there is a growth here. Um, they also want to give me with this card, um, the law of attraction, okay? So you've been doing a lot of visualization, a lot of intention, uh, writing things down. I'm seeing someone writing a list of things that you intend to action, this strategy. Um, this is going to be very, very fruitful, um, but also it helps the universe um, co-create with you so that they are very clear about what you want so you can get where you need to go. Oh, there we go. But ultimately, all it takes from mid-July right through to mid-August is knowing your worth. Okay? You need to, that is the most important message in this, Pisces. You have the talent, you have the brains, you have the beauty, you've got it all. Okay, you may not have um, the financial resources at this present moment in time to proceed forward, but you watch the universe bring you what you need in order to action your passion. Okay, if you stand in your power and magnetize things towards you, you will see the shift, but you must trust in the process. Um, this is a very creative time. This card is all about abundance. Okay, creativity, uh, fertile ideas, passions running high, knowing your worth, having your boundaries really high there, um, high standards, and magnetizing things towards you. Really powerful ending combination. We start to see stuff happening from the 15th of uh, July there, and you start to see really big change in mid-August. This is the end, uh, the end of the time period I've set, so this is mid-August. This is huge. Wish fulfillment, all your dreams coming true, everything you wanted to to see in your mind, you, you've got it in your hand. Like attracts like. You see it in your mind, as I say, you, you have it in your hand, but you know your worth, okay? Three of Wands, it's in reverse. So this is um, about um, the expansion there, the teamwork. That's the only thing that was holding you back. Um, the expansion, travel, or you know, being partnering up with somebody. That is the choice to make. Having the courage to say no to people who are putting lots of burdens on you that is the way forward but also um there is a lot of abundance coming with this card but there is just a little bit of a setback that the only thing is the delay they're showing me it is out of your hands it is out of your hands trust in the process okay um they've asked me to get a clarifier on the three of wands before we go so i will do that with um the traditional Rider right Waite Tarot deck um, for clarity. Thank you so much. Can you please clarify the Three of Wands uh, before we go for my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Three of Wands. Can you please clarify this with regards to their career? Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
I'm just going to put it there while I put the, um, the quartz back. Um, the clear crystal quartz. Um, yeah, look at that. So the only thing that was holding you back is this delay that is just out of your hands. But ultimately, they're clarifying it with the sun card. Okay, so this is ultimate happiness. This is the most happy, abundant, successful card in the deck. Okay, number 19, and it is uh, material happiness, emotional happiness, contentment, a joyous outcome, ultimate success, and freedom. Okay, um, they're showing me here um, the horse. This is very uh, loyal, practical energy, um, but also passionate, wild, free. Okay, this really frees you up and allows you to express yourself. There's a lot of freedom and expression that comes from this. Okay, and they're showing me a feather again. This time the feather is, is red there, but they're showing me the feather is important. Okay, so there may be um, in your project, you may have feathers in it, or there may be something to do with um, feathers in some way, perhaps drawing feathers or something. Feathers are important, but ultimately, if you saw a feather on your path, that is an indication that whatever you're thinking about at that, at that time, or you, you know, the passionate um, project that you really want action there that speaks to your soul, run with it. They're they're trying to indicate to you they're with you. They're they're walking with you here. Okay, so there's your outcome. Very very powerful stuff towards um, and also the sun, of course. They said, and when is the sun? So I don't really know what that means. And when is the sun? Well, this is a Leo card, okay? So we're giving we're given a time frame here, which is August, okay? So again, they're showing me uh, the time frame I set. Um, the end of the second week into the third week of August, you start to see your wishes coming true, Pisces. You start to see the shift. You start to see everything that you, you wanted to achieve. You start to see it come into focus, okay? Ooh, okay, um, we're just going to go and get, um, I'm shaking things up. I'm going to give you a, a Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed to finish. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Any final messages for my beautiful Pisces regarding their career? Can you please guide them with regards to what they need to know? Any final messages at all? What do they need to know for their highest good? Can you please guide them? Um, thank you so much. Okay, so we have... Fork in the road. Come on, Pisces. I mean, decision time for sure. Um, so there is a new path opening opening up to you. Oh, look at that. I love it when spirit does this. You could have any card in there, and they've given you the exact one you're meant to get. See there? I said there were three. There's three decisions here, okay? There's three directions there. Um, there is two very much that you are speaking to that you want to take th two options out of those three but one is speaking to your passion to your higher self your prosperity path and your life purpose um they've asked me to have a look here so i'm just going to have a, a, a quick look here at this card okay Okay, okay, so um, they've given me a couple of things. One is there is an owl on that. I think that's a reindeer. Uh, there is an owl there on um, the reindeer's back, and this is about the wisdom, okay? So take the time that you need to get a different perspective and gain higher wisdom. Open up your um, crown chakra and, um, you know, really listen to the downloads that you're getting from spirit. Listen to your intuition there. Um, but also they're giving me, um, there is a, like a little monkey here, okay? And the monkey has got like, almost like a clown face. They're reminding you to not take things so seriously. Lighten the load, okay? Um, have a bit of play here. Um, you know, life is for enjoying. You've got to do something that you enjoy, okay? Because if you do something um, that's not speaking to your higher self uh, in enjoyment, then there is no point. Now that's just the um, intuitive message they're giving you here. Uh, they're also showing me golden egg. So there is a golden egg type uh, job on its way for you, the gift from the universe, okay? Um, it's like a rebirth they're giving me. Now I'm just gonna read what it means. I don't wanna lead you astray. I'll, I'll give you the exact meaning. Number 13, and it says, time to make a decision. 
considering the consequences as you prepare to act, owning up to your own obligation to make a necessary choice. Okay, so again, they're just clarifying everything here. It says, every choice has a consequence. You arrive at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the road less traveled or the one well worn by others who've come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction for it is an important crossroads. Take heart as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Okay, so as I, I said, you know, it's a win-win situation, whichever way you choose here. Uh, so they're giving me, uh, they're just clarifying everything I said in the reading here, the energies that are coming through. Um, and it says here, a prosperity message. You've come as far as you can on this particular part of your journey, and now you're faced with a choice. Inherent in this choice is the need for change, for evolution, and for bettering of your circumstances. Narrow it down to just one single question. Who do I need to become and what do I need to believe in order to live a life of prosperity? Answer honestly and from the heart. Then the decision about which way to go will be effortless. Know that abundance is all around you. Choose to see it and it will be easier to settle on a direction. For the way will be made clear by your intuition, which knows how to steer you towards your well-being. Okay, so exactly the same message. I love it when they do that. I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to give you a trinket before we go. Thank you so much for it, guys. Guardian angels, can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have uh, <laughs> we have the owl. Okay, so there is wisdom here um, that needs to be got. A different perspective. Um, do 360 of your life and see everything around you. Also, they're giving me a wise old owl sees everything, says nothing. Okay, so one of the messages here was um, what needs to be learnt is um, to speak up for the situation. Okay, so perhaps you've been seeing and putting up with a lot there and not saying nothing. Uh, now comes the time, I guess, for you to uh, proceed, but with wisdom and clarity there before you speak your truth. And um, yeah, a lot of wisdom here. So you also could be um, using knowledge in order to better your situation and rise up um, with all those books being very studious. So um, yeah, th that's a very knowledgeable situation um, that will help you. Yeah, that will help you uh, rise up above everybody else or competition and um, truly action what it is you truly desire to do, your passion. Where would you like this card? Ooh, they want it on the magician card. Okay, so things like law of attraction. Um, Hmm, interesting. Um, in cosmic ordering, setting your intention with wisdom helps draw it towards you and magnetizing magnetizes it. Now we do have a leaf as well. So they're showing me a uh, leaf is like um, it, they're showing me the um, the ace of wands in the traditional rider weight tarot. They want me to show it to you. Okay, uh, okay, I will. <laughs> I'll just get it for you one moment, please. Um, but what they're showing me here is there's lots of leaves falling from that particular card, and you've got a leaf here. So this idea, this passion project that you want to do, it will be very fruitful. They just want you to know. It speaks to the Empress card, um, earthy element there, um, about um, knowing your worth and co-creating with spirit, okay? Being very, like, earth goddess Again, not a gender-specific reading, but that sort of energy. Um, you're using the energy to draw in what you truly desire. Now, I will go and get... Uh, I'm just going to put this leaf here for a moment. Um, I will go and get that uh, Ace of Wands that they want you to have a look at. This is the second time they've ever done this for me. Uh, they've asked to clarify uh, a card. There it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. Uh, they want me to show you. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, which you got there, which is a new project or, um, you know, an urge to create. Um, it's a gift from the universe, and it'll be very fruitful. All those leaves falling from that wand, they want you to see it side by side, the leaf, okay? A lot of abundance. It's very fruitful time for you. They really want you to action your passion, okay? It's being divinely guided towards you, and um, this is what they want you to see. Oh, they want me to keep this card out. 
okay? And I'll put that there, and they want the leaf on that. This is very fruitful, abundant time. It will lead to your success and a joyous outcome. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, um, I guess I'll leave it there. Um, I hope something resonated there for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonated with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, good luck with this situation in love and light.